Hello, my name is uh, Sean O'Drain, and I've, I've worked in uh, the Orange County Register Press Room for 41 years, and uh, I'm pleased that somebody asked me if I would say a few words about <coughs> remembering R.C. Hoyles. I first started at the Register in, in I think it was early 1961, and my memories of R.C. Hoyles are that when I worked um, in the real room, under the, the press room, R.C. Hoyles uh, used to come down and he, he would engage uh, me or anyone uh, who was interested in a, a conversation. And I thought at the time that he held some pretty uh, eccentric uh, views. He was in favor of privatizing uh, such entities as the fire department and uh, public schools. And he found out that I was attending uh, a community, a college, and he would talk to me about how better off it would be if, if the school system, the public school system, was actually, or all education in general, was uh, privatized. The thing about R.C. Hoyle that always impressed me was that he was so sincere in his beliefs. The other thing that impressed me about R.C. Hoyles was the fact that it didn't matter if you were a security guard or a, a custodian or at what station in, in life that you were. He did not talk down to anybody. He treated everybody uh, the same and he treated them with, with dignity. And I will say this, that as a result uh, having talked to uh, R.C. Hoyles, at one time I was a member of the John Birch Society, and he convinced me what a totalitarian group that was, and so I subsequently uh, quit that, and I was a, a member of the uh, Young Republicans at that time, and I switched my, my party affiliation to uh, a libertarian. And I have remained a libertarian in, in my philosophy um, ever since. And um, I'll tell you something else about R.C. Hoyles. In the early days, wages weren't uh, that great. And many of us had a difficult time buying a house or a car or whatever. But the thing about uh, R.C. Hoyles was that he would take money out of his own pocket if, if, if you needed a loan between paydays. The other thing is that he would allow you to work as many hours as, as possible to make a, a decent living. So uh, I have nothing but the utmost respect for R.C. Hoyles and Clarence Hoyles as, as well. I mean, <laughs> they'll never be. Uh, anyone like those two again.